It's seven o'clock on Monday. It's Mystery Card Monday. I am Tamara. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who is watching tonight. Let me know if you're playing, if you're hanging out, if you're just watching, if you're watching and then going to play. Uh, let me know. What's going on? Who am I playing with? Who am I talking to? Get myself organized. It's going to be a fun one. going to be a fun one. I love this layout tonight. I do, I do, I do. Although I might change my color choice on something here. I don't really like... I gotta... Okay, you guys give me a hidey ho and let me see what other colors I might use on this. What color have we got here? It says crushed curry. Hmm, I don't know. It's a weird yellow. What are the yellows have I got? Hi, Jen. Jen, you're going to like this layout. You're going to like it. I wonder if I want to do a... I want to see what this mango. Let me see what mango is. Eh, it might be too orange. Yeah, all right, I'll leave it the way it is. Coolio, those palettes, hello. Watching, then going to play. Excellent. Yeah, this one... <laughs> you're not, you're, it's not your first rodeo, Paulette. You know, generally you should just watch Tamara, watch her spin, and then get the real instructions on the replay. You probably got like a four-minute window where you actually have to watch what's going on. The rest is just fluff, right? <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Hey, Barbara. Good evening. Plus one... It was beautiful here in Edmonton. Um, I was shocked at the amount of light. Hi, Kathy. Like, I woke up this morning. I came down the stairs. It was oh, 7.20, 7.30. I'm like, it looks a lot lighter out. And by the time Alicia was going to school at 8 o'clock, yeah, it was, like, pretty light out. And just noticing how much longer, like, you get, you, you gain, what, three minutes a day? And, yeah, it's becoming pretty noticeable. Um, I'm a little angry. Well, not angry. <laughs> it just never seems to fail. They graded my street on Saturday. And, of course, now today it's melting and it's going to melt all week. It's supposed to be, I think, plus three all week. And so all of the, the ruts and the, like, you're going down the road, like, oh, my God, you're going to lose your back teeth, right? Chip a tooth on something. Um, it was all nice and smooth. And now it's going to be back to the same thing because it's just going to freeze again. So it's like, ugh. and then you end up with that skating rink where you can't walk to the mailbox because it's it was pure water. All the drains are frozen and it just pools and it doesn't go anywhere. So like, you know, I don't like this, this hot, cold, hot, cold, like just be minus 15 all winter long and I will be good to go. Your car stays clean. <laughs> Everybody's happy. It's all good, right? Oh my goodness. Look at all the people in the house. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Hello, Penny, Cheryl, and Sandra, MJ. Hi, Suzanne. Hello, welcome. It is a, I know, and it's so not healthy. It was, what, minus 18 last week, and then it's plus six. Like, that's just not good. Your poor body, and I feel it in my hip. I think I do, or not in my back. I think I do have arthritis in my back, because, man, when that, when that temperature went really cold, I was like, oh, this is a whole new kind of pain, and the last time I had done, had a scan done, she says, yeah, you've got the starts of arthritis. I'm like, oh, don't like it. Minus 10. Yeah, minus 10 would be better than minus 15, Kathy. Yeah, with no wind, right? And a nice sun. <laughs> anyway, I am excited for tonight's thing, Mystery Card Monday, the layout. Now, I got a shout out to uh, the lady I cased. Now, I mean, it's like, where, where do you stop with the with who you give credit to? Mine is 26, blimey, right? Barbara, it's not okay. Um, so I was scrolling through, I, I have my Pinterest board of things that I save for nice layouts that I think would be good for Mystery Card Monday. And I came across one from Christine at mailsomethingpretty.com. I mean, hey, that's a cool name. <laughs> now, she also referenced, um, do you remember when we did um, a while back, uh, Bruno Bertucci, Kylie's husband, had done scrappy strips or strippy scraps or <laughs> something to do with scraps. Anyway, so like it's all kind of a, a theme. We're going to use a lot of our scraps up. So hi, Pat. Um, it's, um, it's a great way to use up the scraps you've got. I'm not that, you know, I'm not that, um, freewheeling. I, I do cut one inch strips. I don't go to my stash and find my one inch strips, but that's totally what you're supposed to do to use up your one inch scraps. Um, but I'm doing it this way. So we're going to make three cards tonight and let's go through what we need. And I'm going to make three of the same card. And if I have time, then I'll morph it. I've got other papers that I've pulled. So I've got um, 
some papers that I haven't used and I should, well, that's just a part sheet. Why do I just, okay, I could have pulled. This was, I don't know, this is, this is paper from the annual catalog and I really like this color. And then this one too. Oh, there was, wait, what? Okay, those, no, wait, what? No. <laughs> these, these, no, wait. What? So I, anyway, these three, <laughs> sure, why not, Tamara? And then I like these ones too. So if I have time, I'm going to play with other other colors but I know this will work with whatever paper you've got if it coordinates so let's get going with our dimensions and our sheets so we're starting off with our standard card base eight and a half by five and a half we need three of those hi Nikki okay then we're going so that's our three card bases right here and I'm using garden green can you believe it I can't believe it what's with all this color honestly it's not me it's not me then we're going to use three different but coordinating designer paper patterns, six by six. Now, again, I'm going to show you and you'll be saying like, Tamara, really, you couldn't have just said, give me, bring, bring in one inch strips. I could have, but I didn't want to. <laughs> hey, Trina. So here I am using paper from the tea cup, whatever this tea, tea, tea boutique designer paper, because I have lots of it and it's pretty. And I've been ignoring my annual catalog papers. Like it's very nice. The free celebrations paper. It's lovely. It's free. I'm just about sick to death of it. Okay. So I thought I'm going to go with yellow and bright and the garden green. So I'm using three sheets that coordinate in the yellow from the tea boutique. Then we need Uh, focus here we go <laughs> three cardstock layers that are five and a quarter by four three of those can you tell I got post-it notes on sale <laughs> then we need three cardstock layers that are <laughs> five by three and three quarters did I do that on this other one okay so we need three that are five and a quarter by four and then this is a little bit smaller my green ones five by three and three quarters I keep freezing. Should, um, anybody else? Am I okay? Uh, my Wi-Fi has been stinking all day. I have had issues with my Wi-Fi. It says I'm fine down here. So I don't know if it's you or me. Peter, pa oh, um, pretty peacock and lost lagoon stuff. Wow. They do, Nikki. I love those colors. Your trimmer and your usual tools. Let me know. Anybody else having trouble freezing? If it is, uh, then it, I mean, it could be me. Okay. Um, my pods, my... Um, my booster pods that were on the main floor were offline and I don't know why it was just weird seems to be okay good excellent thanks you guys okay and then I've got three strips for my sentiments that are one by five but you know you can use like whatever you've got whatever sentiment is going to fit so let's get cracking for me I'm going to start by folding my bases and putting them aside it's like okay got that off my list of things to do hi Liz all right, your bone folder, you know you guys need to use it. If you don't have a bone folder, if you're just starting out, you don't have a bone folder, you can use a block. You can also use your thumb, but I find that that hurts after about three cards. So you have options. There's going to be a few Tamara tips in tonight's show too. I'm going to give you a few tips here and there. It's half the fun of tuning in. Tamara's tips. I like when you guys can learn something as well. And you know, if you're if you're a seasoned crafter, it might not be news to you, but there are always new people coming in and uh, they might not have seen these tips. So my first tip, um, this morning I was cutting paper and it was fraying. I thought, okay, Bertram, it is time to get over your cheap self. Like <laughs> you guys, like I, I'm not a hoarder, but I don't like running out of things. It irks me. I, 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 no, I can't run out of stuff. And so even when I, like, if I'm at the bottom, at the end of a roll of, of ribbon and there's two months left in the catalog, I'm like, that's great. Yay. I finished a roll of ribbon, but oh my God, now I don't have any of that. I better buy more. Right. In case I have a project there where I need that, that ribbon and it drives me crazy. So yeah, I might have a few blades now. See, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Once upon a time, they ran out of blades and we couldn't get them for like months. And I'm like, well, that's not going to happen. I'm not running out of blades. No, no, no. <laughs> so anyway, I, um, today I went, okay, Bertram, you've got a lot of blades. How about you just stop cheaping out and use a new one? So I brought in a new blade, but while I was at it, it does, eh, Mary? Okay. Um, I thought I better clean my track. So I'm just going to show you something I did. So I grabbed my... 
one of my take your pick tools and I just cleaned out this track a bit like okay it's probably not the best thing for the tool but I just went in here and I'm just scraping there's some nasties in here like and I've already done this a couple times but you can see like there's there's there are fibers from your cardstock that kind of get embedded in there and then I'll take a little scrap like I mean we all have little chunks of paper just go in and have a little rub you can use an alcohol wipe too but eh, this seems to work for me like again you can see like there's some nastiness going on in there just give it a clean like you gotta freshen up your tools every now and then ladies just clean it all up get a little tidy and uh yeah you can use a little bit of alcohol in there on a wipe and just kind of give it a clean and so I've got a new blade in here and I'm trying not to push down on it. I'm just sliding. This is what dulls the blades is when you push down on it. You don't have to. You just you should just be pushing with your pinky. No pushing down on it. That dulls it. A uh, toothbrush. Cool. Great idea, Sheila. Yeah. Or a potato brush or you name it. Um, yeah, there are a few things. Where did I see... I think I have a little toothbrush that one of the dentists gave us that were for, that are supposed to be for like the very back. It's like looks like four or five little bristles. That would work out very well too. So yeah, there's lots of things you can do in there. Yep. Or a toothpick. Yeah, right. All kinds of stuff you can do. All right. So I'm going to take my designer papers and I'm going to chop them into one inch strips. And so I want um, two of each pattern for each card. So I need six. So I'm chopping up the whole thing in one inch strips on all of my papers. So I'm just going to go one. And again, you should, if you have one inch strips that coordinate, just grab them. And if they coordinate, use them for your card. You don't have to be using up actual um, six by six, but I got scads of six by six, so I'm good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this one I can, because the, the designer paper is um, so thin, you can double up on it. Just save yourself some time. So just do the two. See, I'm not pushing down on it. Like if I just um, push with your pinky, like just push it. Don't push down on it. Just slide it. Then it your blade lasts a lot longer. I just I was in the habit with my old trimmer of pushing down on it. You don't have to. You just have to slide it. So I'm chopping up all of these three pages of designer paper. Okay. Now, I've got my layers are going to go on here. Now, this isn't even the card that I'd created this afternoon. I'm mixing it up a bit, throwing in some color because Karen said I needed more color. I'm not going to put those, I'm not going to attach those yet. They're just over here hanging out for a while. So, what we're going to do is we're going to work on these top layers. So, in this case, these are ones that are five by three and three quarters. Yep, just double checking. So, and I'm bringing in, you need a silicone mat for this and your liquid glue. I probably should have said that in the instructions, but I didn't. And my bangs are driving me nuts today. Okay. Liquid glue. Now, if you've done the scrappy strips, scrappy strips, strippy scraps, strippy straps. I don't know. Anyway, we are going to just start building a background here. So each card is going to get two of each pattern. So I'm just going to divvy this up here so that I don't get myself all confused. I mean, I don't do random, you guys. <laughs> like, It has to be organized randomness, which makes no sense at all, because if it's organized, it's not random. However, I am just going to grab two of each pattern and so that I know who gets what. All right. So these guys can go over here. Now we're just going to get gluey. Now, scrappy strips. Thank you, Sheila. <laughs> um, grab some scissors that you don't love very much because they're going to get gluey too. We're going to clean it off though afterwards. All right. So I'm going to grab my strips and I am going to just start laying them down on my paper or on my layer. And we're going to glue this down and then we're going to go in at different angles with the other ones. And where's, yeah, third. And likewise over here, we're going to start ch chopping things up and adding them in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when you go to do this, you want to make sure that the angle doesn't matter. It could be straight up and down. It could be, it could be whatever you're feeling. 
But what you want to make sure is that this strip is, <coughs> excuse me, hanging over the entire, like that there's something hanging over the entire layer. So you don't want to be like this. It needs to cover completely. So I'll do a couple of them at different angles. So this one, I'm going to go like this. Like that's not working. You see what, like that would be bad, Tamara. No, don't do that. It has to, you have to be cognizant that it's going to be covering completely. Okay, my dog has his football, so that's awesome. Hey, Coda. Hey, Jen. All right, so I'm going to try, I'm going to go like this and like this and like this. Now, this is where it's going to get all gluey and yucky. Uh, where your um, silicone mat is going to come in handy. So which one am I going to do here? So I'm going to glue top to bottom. Oh, that was way too much glue. This is why I don't like liquid glue, but you, <laughs> you do want to use the liquid glue. You don't want to use the tape so much. All right. So put these over here and now we start gluing. Hey, Coda. He's got his, wants to play football with somebody. All right. So again, you want to make sure that whatever angle you do, that it's going to cover Um, the entire base. Now, I, and I'm going to scooch this up as high as, as high as I can so that I'm going to be able to use this little chunk on another piece. So, like, we're not here to waste paper, right? So now I'm just going to leave a gap of whatever you want. It could be a really big gap. Now that, see, Tamara, focus. I'm going to go like this. So I'm just leaving about an eighth of, a, eighth of an inch space between them. And if you're using the liquid glue, you can move it around. And then this one's going to go over here and I'm going to go up as high as I can so that I'm not wasting. Go up here. Like that. So glue that down here. Now I'm going to turn it over and this is where your scissors are going to get all gluey. Yeah, for exactly Nikki. You, you want to be able to move it around. I mean, if you're, if you're more, um, if you're less challenged than I am in that regard, then you can use tape. But I, you know me, I'm a bit of a spaz and yeah. So now I'm, did I, maybe I should tell you what I'm doing, but you can see it. I'm turning it over and I'm just chopping off the overhang. Your scissors are gonna get gluey. It's okay, you can clean them off. So cut off all the overhang. Now they still have some glue on it. So again, it helps if you either have another silicone mat and let's see if I can use this up, this little chunk. I mean, sure. So I'm going to go here. So again, I'm still leaving just like a one eighth of an inch gap. This guy's now stuck to this guy and that might not be, oh, it is big enough. Yeah. He's got some glue on him now, but whatever. Let's see if I can rub that off with my eraser later. And then this little chunk can go here. And then if you wanted, you could even sneak this little guy in here. Sure, why not? Because that would irritate me to have that little chunk floating free. Okay, and then um, I'm going to bring in another silicone mat because you know I've got more than one. This one's all gluey. I don't have time to stop and wipe it off. Lord, no. Okay. So let me just, uh, which side was gluey? I don't even know this one. We'll turn him over in a second. Um, so now I've got these other scraps, these other strips over here that I can do the same thing with. I'm just going to use way too much glue again. Like that, sticking to my fingers, uh, sticking everywhere. <laughs> and then which one is this? No, that's the wrong one. So this just needs a little guy. I bet I could chop off. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to put a little bit right here.
like that. Okay. Turn it over. Chop it all up. Hi, Melanie. Chop it all up. Sticks to your scissors. That's awesome. <laughs> it's all sticking to my scissors now. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, now this one. I could get out my paper trimmer, but I don't want my trimmer to get all gluey. <laughs> Uh, rubbing alcohol, yes, yes, that was my next, that's my next Tamara's tip. So these are all gluey and gross. I'm going to put those away. Um, now I'm just going to do the same thing. Where's my, okay, here's another thing, here's another Tamara's tip. So I told you last week that I threw away the inside of my drawer, like I had dividers in my drawer, because I was always throwing my wet baby wipes in there. Yes, I probably should use our chamois, but I don't, I use baby wipes. i now just keeping it in one of our containers. I mean, you could, we have the D oh, I might have a few of these hanging around, uh, but it'll fit in the DVD size ones too, but it's just going to keep it moist. So it doesn't dry out in the span of like five minutes. Um, this one I've had in the bath in the, in the container for hours. I, I started this one this afternoon. So I'm just going to go in with my baby wipe and wipe off my silicone mat, which is the beauty of the silicone is that things don't stay stuck to it. So I'll clean these off and then I'm ready to go for my next layer. Hey, while I'm doing this, so you're just going to watch me do this and I'm just going to talk. Um, I'm sure you guys all saw my posts that the Easter Bunny Punch, now you know I'm going to say I told you so. I totally told you so that that rabbit punch as Easter approaches um, was going to sell out and guess what it's on low inventory and it's going to sell out if you want in on my class that is march 3rd it's 80 dollars local let me show you oh let me show you oh coda seriously these are the three cards we're making like this this is what i love when you can find a stamp set that's not just what it appears to be in the first glance so you think oh yeah it's an easter set well sure it works for easter also works for baby spring and there's also a sentiment in here that this has nothing to do with rabbits. You're a friend like no other. And it's just springy. So this is these are the three cards we're making. Um, March 3rd, order tonight if you need it. Yes. Oh, thank you, Kathy. It makes me very happy when people listen to me. <laughs> I've been doing this 17 years and two weeks. I know what I'm talking about. I know the patterns. I know stuff is going to sell out. And so when Tamara says it's going to like... Listen, because I, I've been around the block. And um, so thank you for trusting that I know what I'm talking about. Plus, it's nice because my children don't listen to me. So it's nice when other people do. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to keep on yammering while I'm making my other. Essentially, I'm just making my own designer series background. Now, this one, I'm just going to use the same. Like, I don't have to use a brand new strip because this one's still from the last card. I'll use this one. So yes, um, and even if you don't want to take class, if you're ordering, you better do it sooner than later because it's low inventory. It'll just, it'll be gone in a day or two. And I don't think, I predict it's not coming back like the Shamrock Punch or whatever it was called. Um, that one's gone forever. And what is also sold out forever is the seasonal dyes. That was really good. For, it was, there was a Christmas bundle with that. Seasonal labels dyes, I think it's called. It's gone. Mm-hmm. Yay, Kathy. Hey, Kathy, you're supposed to say I'm late. Can you start again? Okay, come on. If you're going to do it, do it right. <laughs> it is a cheery card, right? Citrus cheery. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep on going. And you can see, you know, I'm just... I'm using different angles, different... Like, I could start up here. I'm going to start here. And just leave, like, an eighth of an inch... I like it an eighth of an inch, but you do you. Are there, are the other scraps were all gluey. And so then this one. I 
actually I'm gonna oh no yeah I was gonna say that's gonna bug me but that's fine I think I could let that one go and then I need stripes for over here it's just fun it's just fun okay so I need to snip some stuff off here because I ran out and then yes when I go to clean my scissors off I'm gonna use alcohol and a dry baby wipe or paper towel because they are icky and it works like a hot dang I tell ya and lord knows we all have a lot of hand sanitizer lying around I still have the first bucket that I bought when COVID first landed. I ran out and I got like the Costco bucket. I bought the six pack of Lysol wipes. I still have that on the go. <laughs> I bought the 12 pack of the little hand sanitizers for the purse. Um, and I got two pumps for the bathrooms and I'm still working on, this, <laughs> on my original stash. I don't like running out of things. It <laughs> irritates me. My family's not running out. No sorry. Okay, I need, I want this guy, but he's not big enough. So this one, I'm going to go here. Sure. Okay. Uh, I could do Trina, um, but I hadn't actually, I haven't prepped the pieces in those colors. So I might. What time is it? 726. But then I won't finish all three of them. I don't know. My goal was to finish three, but we'll see. But absolutely you can. That's the that's the beauty of our designer papers is that. Uh, two, three, no, I think I'll do this one. Oh, wait, what? This one, okay. Um, that you can use both sides. Now maybe, well, no, I want to make all three. So, oh, that was cut crooked, but anyway, okay. So we'll go like this. Green and purple go together, they do? Oh, I don't know, I guess. I guess they do. All right, I'll do it for you, Trina. Oh, I don't know. But then I have to think, rethink my whole embellishments. You're gonna make me design on the fly? I was hoping to avoid that tonight. <laughs> it hurts, it, it hurts my head, I tell you. Oh, so Alicia and I, got addicted to a show last okay this is stuck to my scissors um years ago like 10 15 years ago I watched a show called the mole and I loved it and there was one season and that was it well we found it last night on crave and yeah we might have binged like six episodes in a row I'm totally addicted I'm like I need to watch more of that tonight all right I'll try the, pur really the purple I'll try the purple do you all right let's just see but maybe I don't want, I don't think I like this. Okay, maybe we go like this. And we're going to go horizontally this time, maybe. But I don't, I'm not loving this. And then this is the wrong direction. Oh, Trini, you're killing me. You're killing me. Because this is up and down. Oh, I can't. Trina. <laughs> I want to. But look, now the pattern is sideways and that bugs me. Let's see if I can make it work. You're trouble, Trina, with a capital T. Fine, how about I do it this way? Okay, fine. I'm just gonna use the two patterns, even though it's sticking to the back of it. That's fine, but if it doesn't have a nice embellishment, I'm blaming you. Are you okay with that? Okay, so this is gonna go, what did I say was gonna happen? Okay, that's gonna go like that. Okay, here we go. Watch, it'll be the best card I've ever made. Oh no, that's not, okay, all right. Tracy's way, what's Tracy's way? Tracy, Tracy, you mean like up the uppy downy way? Did I miss a conversation? I'm doing, I'll make it work. I'll make it happen. But if it fails, I blame you. And if it's a raving success, 
Well, I'll give you credit. Why not? Just gonna build. So, hey, any of my long distance people, there is one spot left in our extravaganza. I could throw the odd yellow in here just to, I don't want to. Uh, one spot left for the extravaganza, for the virtual one. There's no spots left for the in-person one. And yeah, I'm trying to get Stampin' Up to come. Yeah, I am. Wouldn't that be fun if Stampin' Up came hit office? They might. I've applied. Who could say no to me? I'm fun. They should come, right? I think so. Do I run out of purple strips already? No, I haven't. Okay. Now that's going to be crooked. Oh, okay, I'm going to do this. And then you all are going to be sad that you didn't RSVP to come to the in-person. But Sheila did. And if they come in person, Sheila will see whoever comes from head office. Maybe it'll be Brian Pilling. Maybe it'll be Genevieve Co. Who knows? Uh, wow. Okay. Well. Uh, uh, twist. Okay. With my sticky glue basket. Oh, the basket. Ew, what's going on back here? Oh, yeah, the basket weave. Too late. Didn't see that comment. But you guys can do that <laughs> on yours. And then when you post it, you'll say, look, Tamara, I did the basket weave like Tracy said. These are really sticky now. Okay. Is Tracy typing operators are standing by? One spot left for the virtual extravaganza, which is on April 1st. $90 if I can order your stuff with somebody else's so that you don't have to pay the extra shipping. Or $127 if you want the bundle. Okay. Oh, this is a mess. Messy, messy, messy. Okay. Um, hold on, I need my little trimmer. There's my little guy here. Let's chop you up. I'll chop you up. Well, of course, MJ. Because that would be a hoot. That would be so much fun. Okay. And then this one. Um, yeah. If I was head office, I'd come to my party. This isn't as random as some of the other ones, but that's okay. All right, now I need, is there any more purple? Where's this one? Yep. Okay. So I hope you are, I mean, it's pretty boring if you're not playing along, <laughs> just watching me glue things. All right, so chop that off. Oh, it's not glue. Ah, it's coming loose. Hang on. There we go. Keeping some glue in there. That. Okay. Chop this guy off, and then we're ready to keep on going. I guess I'm not going to have time to do a bunch of other layouts, but that's okay. The promise is it's going to work with other papers. I should really get the paper off of my scissors. <laughs> so I made relish with my mom on the weekend. It was a raving success. Oh, we bought a kitchen table and chairs. I wasn't planning to, Nancy, but I could. Oh, my God. Okay. Yes, the renovations that never end. You know how that works. Um, I'm still waiting for my... Um, for what? For the um, cabinets to be done because they've screwed it up three times now. So that's happening. Next week we're getting our backsplash in. So that's good. 
Um, and we just ordered the kitchen table. That'll be 10 to 12 weeks. And we've got new um, chairs coming, but that could be seven months. <laughs> oh, Bernice, I could share the recipe. It's, um, I want to call it a mustard relish, but it's not mustard. There's no mustard in it. There's turmeric, but it's like a pick a lily if y'all are English. Um, and it goes good on anything. It's like, oh, it's so good. So good. And I've never done anything like that before. Craig is the cook in the house and he's made jams and relishes and all kinds of things, but I've never done that before. So I was all proud of myself. Okay. Back to our card. We have our three pieces here. Um, I am going to stamp, oh, busting into a sweat. Um, I am going to glue this onto this. Yes, I am. When I say glue, I mean tape enough with this glueiness. Ugh. How many pieces did you have left from the six by six? Um, well, I still have four, uh, but that's because I didn't use this pattern because I used just the two on this one, right? So originally I started off with um, six pieces for each and then it depends on how you lay it out and how much you're cutting off, uh, but technically they should be scraps. So you're not really feeling bad if you throw any of them away. Okay, so I'm going to tape this onto my five and a quarter by four layer on all of them. Oh yeah, my desk is a little gluey. Sure, MJ. I'll have to find it. That's not right. <laughs> I will have to find it, but I will. It was so easy. So easy. But it's really willy-nilly. Like you use whatever vegetables you've got. So it was really supposed to be like in the fall when you've got all the cucumbers that nobody wants and you got the you got the tomatoes and you got the all the stuff, um, peppers and whatever vegetables. So we actually had to spend money to make this, whereas usually it's pretty cheap. Um, we bought, so I put in, it was cucumbers and we did celery and onions and peppers and cauliflower and coleslaw, like our cabbage. And that's it. You just mulch it all up in the food processor and you cook it for like 15 minutes in sugar, um, a couple other things, salt. And, uh, and then you add a mixture that is um, flour to thicken it, turmeric, vinegar, don't know what else. And you cook it for like 10 minutes and boom, throw it in jars, seal it. And off you go. Okay, this is not okay. I'm going to pop these up on dimensionals. Now, of course, you might be adding ribbon. I'm not sure what you're doing, but I know what my end version looks like, so I don't need ribbon. So I'm going to slap down my dimensionals. My poor dog. I don't know. He's not eating, you guys. He's not eating breakfast. I'm like, fine, fine. I'll just I'll give him his insulin, which I do. And then, like, at 5 o'clock, I still had to convince him to eat I'm like buddy you've had nothing to eat all day you still have to hand feed him and really talk him into it like doesn't this look like it could be actual designer paper so cool anyway he's not eating his blood was through the roof I don't know his um his nether regions like down <laughs> his his gut area he's got some sort of mass growing and it has been there for the better part of two years but it looked really swollen down there yesterday so I'm just, I'm just assuming something is pushing on his stomach and he just doesn't feel well um but he's just not interested like I've been feeding him his wet dog food by hand that is a mother's love like oh my god I'm like buddy I haven't even had coffee yet and I'm touching slimy cold dog food <laughs> As I said to Craig, as I was sitting there with the cold, wet dog food in my hand, going, you know, I had dreams. <laughs> These weren't them. They weren't them. Hand feeding my dog wet canned dog food. That wasn't ever part of the plan. <laughs> like, where, what happened to my life? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just look at my, you know, my 17 year old, my 19 year old. And I'm like, oh, you guys <laughs> live those dreams, girls, <laughs> live them. <laughs> oh, it's horrible, Kathy. I know. Okay. Well, I guess the green doesn't not work. All right. All right. So here we go. I am going to stamp my sentiment. In this instance, I am using the stamp set Sweet Citrus. This paper is from the Tea Boutique. And yeah, there's some stuff that could work. Um, but I wanted a bigger sentiment. 
And so I went with the sweet citrus because, hey, we got lemon. Oh, that lemon appears to be all upside down. I could have done it that way. But anyway, so I'm going to stamp this. Uh, if I can find my stamp, look at this mess. Okay, I'm going to stamp it in the garden green. Try not to get my thumb in it. Okay. Now, normally I would use my, if this was a solid image, I would use my paper piercing mat, but my desk is solid and the sentiment is thin. I don't need, I don't need the foam to get a good clean image. So I'm just going to stamp it here like that. And I'm going to do that again. So these strips are one inch by five. Yep. She said confidently checking her work. And now this, I can't use a zesty one because Trina had to go and be a troublemaker. So this one is, the paper is from the dainty something or other. Now the dies are sold out. I don't know if or when they're coming back. Lots of stuff is selling out, ladies. If you're planning to buy the starter kit, do it now. Because the things that you want could be selling out. Like this bundle. Uh, you can't get this bundle now because the dies are sold out. And they're not coming back before celebrations is over. Um, okay, thank you for your kindness. Sure. Thank you for your kindness. That'll fit. Uh, and I'm going to do it in green too because I can't be bothered to get out my other ink pad. Now, hopefully this is somewhat straight. Thank you for your kindness. No. So when I do that, so I did think that that wasn't going to be straight. So when I, when I stamped that, you can see that the kindness, like the word kindness is angled up too high. So I'm going to try to stamp it again, but this time I'm going to twist it so that the kindness goes down a little bit more. So I think that that's straight, but it's obviously not. So I'm just going to twist it a little bit and hope that's better. And I might have twisted a little bit too far. It's down a little bit too far. That irritates me a bit too. So chop this at five. This is half an inch too long. So I'm going to take off half an inch, which is, oh, I don't know. I like my little trimmer, but I don't like that it's not six inches. So this has to be five. Let me try it again. I'm sure it would have been fine, but let's try. You know, another thing to do. So here's another tomorrow trip tip. So get out your grid paper and test to see how crooked your stamp is. So if I think that that's going to be lined up, try it. You could use your stamp apparatus. You betcha you could. So if I'm going to try to line up the word for your kindness on my grid map, my grid sheet. Hey, that's actually pretty close. So I'm, the kindness, you just practice a couple times. So just a titch down. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try to line it up visually like that. And then just a titch. Well, I could do better. Titch more. Sure. That'll work. No, it won't. Well, that one's probably closer. All right. Like that. All right. 743. Let's keep on going now on so this one you could also use um which i think i will i'm gonna grab some more green garden green and i want i want to uh i want to do something <laughs> words are hard so i want to cut a one and a quarter by five mat for the sentiment. You don't have to. I didn't put it in the instructions. I, I didn't want to put too many instructions, but I'm going to make it one and a quarter by five. Just to snazz it up a little bit more. Okay. Let's tell now which one was the good one. Um, really they're all pretty fine Tamara okay that's right I know Sheila but have you met me I enjoy the challenge honestly okay so 
I'm taping this down. Have a zesty birthday. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sounds kind of rude. <laughs> okay. Like that. Now, this, oddly, uh, I didn't pop up either, so I'm going to just tape that down. Donna! Where's Donna? Where's Princess? Where is everybody? Did you guys pop in and I didn't see you pop in? It's been awfully quiet on the... Over are y'all on your island drinking wine? What's going on? Where are my girls? Donna! Princess! Where are you? Okay, like that. You could pop these up as well on Dimensionals, but I'm not going to. Just I think I'll pop up my embellishments. 746. I think we might do this, you guys. We just might do this. Okay. This one's actually quite pretty. Right, Trina? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to need some big scrap here. Um, I've got all this scrap on the floor, and then it's either too big or too small. Now, for this image... Okay, so I'm bringing in my lemons from the zesty whatever the sweet citrus hi carolyn so i'm going to ink up the center and i am going to use my paper piercing mat on this one actually where is the i need to look at the dies to see where this is going to go so i guess i just i want to make sure that the lemon is going to get stamped on here where is my lemon actually i should stamp this other piece first there we go okay here's we need to stamp this this i think i need to stamp the outline first to make sure that my lemon is going to get cut out because i do want the lemon so yes stamp your lemon real ramen oh well pat okay i'm sorry yes you're my girls too but like my main hecklers you guys don't heckle me Pat or um Donna and Princess, they heckle me. Now this one's not stuck down very much. I'm just gonna go in and push. I, I saw it was kind of flapping in the wind there. Yes, you're all my girls. I didn't mean to offend. You know I didn't. Okay, so this color I'm using is um crushed curry, which they tell me this paper is, but it looks pretty dark. It might fade over time, but anyway, that's fine. There, so I'm going to chop these out. Now you'll you'll remember that there is an embossing folder that goes with this. I could take the time to emboss it, but really, actually I need to do this a couple of times. I need to do it twice while we're here. See if I can get all three of these cards done tonight. That would be a first for me to actually finish the three that I set out to do. Okay. And like this. Now these um, these aren't meant to line up perfectly because fruit is not perfect. But this set is fabulous because you could do oranges, lemons, grapefruits, limes, pomegranate. Well, pomegranates maybe not, but you can do so much with this. So I'm going to now cut this out. And I would use my mini embossing guy, but because I've got this chunk of paper so wide, I'm just going to bring in my big one. I've been using the little ones so much. I don't even know where my plates are. Oh, and I wanted to give you a tip on using the mini one, too, that I found on the leaders board today. Uh, there was a live. So every Monday, if you're Silver Elite and above, um, you get to, there's a special Facebook group. I'm just going to pin this down with my tape here. Um, and they gave me some tips on how to use the mini cut and emboss machine if you're having trouble. Yeah, I love this set more than I thought it would. Sorry for the shaking. Okay, uh, okay, that lemon is a little bulby, but that's okay. I gotta hurry, or I'm gonna get my leaves done. I need to get my leaves done too, and I might not get the purple one decorated. We'll see. We still have eleven minutes. Focus. 
Oh, that was a bad cut on my lemon. I'm going to have to trim him with my scissors. Bad cut there. Now I could bring in my little guy. Where's my little guy? And I'll show you the tip that I was going to say. Um, so some people are having trouble with their mini guys. And I've, I've had trouble with my mini one in my white. The blue one I've had no problems with. This you can only get if you um, get the starter kit. And it's only $40 if you get it in the starter kit that costs $175. Pick out $225 in product plus one of the machines, either the white one or the blue one, and you pay $175 flat unless you're in BC, Saskatchewan, or Manitoba. Okay. Um, not on your radar. Hey, Sheila. Okay, fair enough. All right, so I'm going to go and stamp um, in green my leaves. So I'm going to need four of them. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have done a couple of them anyway ahead of time, but oh well. So I'm using my mat because it's a solid image. So some people are having trouble getting their stuff through the machine. Now, if you're having trouble, there's an easy fix. Um, first of all, like they originally they told they Stampin' Up! had said, like, yeah, stagger your plates. And people were staggering them, but they're staggering them in the wrong way. Um, so if you're having trouble getting it through, they, the experts say, like, if this is how your sandwich is supposed to be, right? Like, if everything's all lined up, you want this middle one to be tucked in so that when you looked at it, like, this is like a letter E. Or if you think of it as this is the hamburger and this is the bun on your sandwich so that when it goes through the machine, these two go through first and it gives a little bit of give. And that will almost always help it go through easier. If the sandwich is still too tight, instead of using this cutting plate number one, which is your main plate, switch it out for plate number three. I guess they're like a sixteenth of an inch thinner. This this number three is a sixteenth of an inch thinner and it won't be as tight. Okay, so that's your easy trick. If you're having trouble getting stuff through, just switch out your white plate for your, for your gray one and that should fix you right up. Now, this, um, this set of dies has two leaf cutout things, which is nice. Save some time here, which is good because tomorrow's running out of time. Okay, and I generally don't have any trouble getting mine to go through at all. Okay, my leaves moved a little bit, but whatever. Okay, there's those two. Do it again for these two. And we might get the purple one done. If I focus and hurry. Anyway, the blue machine is just the same as the white one. It's just blue. So no, it doesn't do anything different. <laughs> it's uh, it's just the pretty blue. This is going to be one of the in colors that comes in in May with the new catalog. It's called Boho Blue. Okay, put him over here for a while. All right. Now, where's my card? Where's my card? Okay, and my other card. Where's my other card? Here you are. All right, let's get these guys going on here. So, let's do the lemons first. Oranges and lemons. Ring the bells of sink lemons or something like that. I used to have to play that on, was it the handbells? I used to play that on something. Recorder? I don't know. All right, now I'm going to go in. This is not okay, Mr. Lemon. You're going to fussy cut some of you off because you're too yucky. Like that. This one too is very big. I hear a child out there. I think she's probably waiting to watch the rest of the mole with me. Okay, these ones are going to go down flat. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to go here. We're going to go here. <laughs> Somewhere I had many dimensionals, don't know where. I guess we're going for big ones. Pop him. 
them up. Okay. Oh, I have a third thing of... Okay, I was going to do one more. Of the leaves. Because I used three on mine. That looks better. One, two, three. One, two, three. Glue. Here we go. Glue. 755. I can do this. I don't think I'll get the purple one done. And I haven't done my insides. Okay, pop him there. Doesn't this work perfectly with this paper? Yeah, it does. Okay. So yes, if you are toying with getting the starter kit, I would love for you to get it through me and become a Tamara's Trailblazer. Last year, the Trailblazers were number five in the country for um, uh, promotions. Um, just a great, great group of friends and one of the top teams in Canada. And I can say that. I'm not even lying. We were number five in Canada. We'd love to have you in the group. I'm going to do one more set. Oh, Lord. Of leaves. Ugh. I know. Envelopes. I know. I know. Thanks, Kathy. I will. Pat, you're the, you're the Donna stand-in tonight for reminding me for envelopes. And I need to do the inside. Okay, wait. I can do it. What is this? Five? Okay, three and three quarters. Okay. So for the insides, I'll take out three of these. So I always have a, a box of inserts so that I don't have to cut them. They're ready to go. This is five and a quarter by four. Slide those in the middle. And sure, let's just do some leaves because I can't. Um, be bothered to find my lemon stamp. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Sheila. Just a great, great group. I like a friends. Again, like I don't even like to say team because that implies business. And you guys know me. I'm not into like Obviously, I'm into the business of it, but I'm certainly not cramming it down your throat. Um, it's just a, really most most of the gals in the group are happy shoppers, discount purchasers. Um, they're their only customers, and that's okay. They're saving a ton of money on products that they're buying at a discount, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, could I do this, Lee? I think I, I'm not going to do that leaf in there. So, okay, and then I'll do some envelopes for these two. So I'm getting a little bit done here. And it's 758. I still have two minutes. I can still crack these guys off in two minutes and I'll get those ones done. Bear with me, ladies. Stick with me. You want to see the final version? I like this layout. I do. It's fun. And it will use up scraps if you're not me. And that creates more scraps. I think most of you are more sane than I am and you would just use what you've got. I'm trying not to move the die. There we go. Okay, two more. Like, look, it's so quick and easy when I got this little guy just hanging out by my desk here. It doesn't, it takes nothing. He weighs nothing. Okay, and then where are my cards? Here's my card here. Here's my card here. Where did my, these things go? Okay. Can pop him in here. Oranges and lemons on the streets of... Ring the bells of... I don't know how that song goes. Clemens. Okay, there. Now, I brought in these because they're fun. Adhesive of oh, the milky dots. Milky. Ugh, I don't know, you guys, with these words. Milky. It's not okay. Thanks, Marcella. All right, so I'm bringing in my... This tool. And you just kind of stick it to the putty. Stick it to the putty, put it on your card, and then this guy I'm going to put up here on my lemon. Like that. Ta-da! 
Oh, it's eight o'clock. See, now this one, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to grab these dies. But I'll have to do it afterwards because time is up. Are these them? The Dainty Delight dies. And I'll just do, I'll have to stamp it. Oh, I could just do something like this. Anyway, actually, I might grab some of the greenery from some of my similar sets, like the, um, 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 um nature's harvest or nature's prints or honeybee home all of these have dyes that would work too or that oh the quiet meadow look there's all these that have the greenery nature's print so any of these dyes like look we could do like grassy things here the quiet meadow has some gorgeous ones they're some of my favorites this would look really pretty oh this one this one this one picture this oh it's a little long but i'll chop it down anyway you get the idea <laughs> time to get off the sheila yes just do it sister just grab some designer paper chop it up and slap it on a card like honestly don't overthink it don't overthink it but look we got that and that and then this one i'm just going to have to put something down here huh and this is the one i made this afternoon which looks pretty much like the one I made tonight. <laughs> so the color did fade a little bit, but it's been hours. So anyway, I now have three cards. Oh, I have to do the, oh, this one I did on white. Okay, so here's the difference. I did this on a white card base with the green layer. <sighs> they are standalone dies, Melanie. They are indeed cool. Okay, that's it. It's 8.01. Thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> I think I saw my thing flash. I'm like, oh, somebody sent me something. Thank you. Um, so that's it for tonight. Please, if you want in on the bunny, Easter bunny class, these three cards, let me know right now, like right now, because it might be sold out by the morning. It might be sold out by now. It wasn't sold out when I logged in just before I went live here to make sure it wasn't sold out. $80 local porch pickup, $90 long distance. You get the bunny punch, the bunny set and you get the cane weave embossing folder which is divine um you must have that you must have that and you get a celebrations choice okay um all kinds of value i've prepped for 16 classes or 16 spots i think i already have 12 people registered um oranges and lemons of the something of saint clements <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. Um, anyway, so register now. I will see you Thursday for Check It Out Tuesday, Thursday edition. And don't know what I'm going to do, but it'll be fun. Um, that's all I know right now, I think. Yes. Have yourself a good night. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm going to post these cards, and then if you played along, please post yours in the comments. I'd love to see what you made um, with whatever paper you chose. So thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you on Thursday. Have a good week.